Peloton stock fell by almost 15% today due to a recall on two of their treadmill products. Peloton is an exercise equipment and media company that sells products such as exercise bikes and treadmills. Earlier in March this year, a six-year-old child died due to a treadmill accident. There were 70 different incidents reported, out of which 29 were reports of injuries to adults, children, and pets. The overall design of the treadmill was deemed unsafe. This incident was clearly out of negligence on part of the company because they ignored warnings from the US Consumer Product Safety Commission and failed to act early. So as one of the best performing stocks of last year and falling 15% in a day, everyone is curious about what could happen to this stock soon and in the longer term. In this video, I'll go over Peloton's fundamentals and financial data along with the market news to see what actions you can take at the moment if you own Peloton stock or if you don't own it and were considering to buy it. I'll also go over the risks and rewards of buying, holding your position or selling this stock. Stay tuned till the end of this video because this might be a great opportunity for you to invest or divest your money. Today, Peloton announced that they will recall 125,000 treadmills each costing $4,300 or $2,500. So even if we consider that they have sold 50% of each model, then they are looking to recall $425 million worth of equipment this year. That will be reported as a loss. If we look at the company's financials, their stock gained almost 450% in 2020 due to all the safety issues, including today's recall news, the stock has lost almost 120% of its value this year. The current stock price is $82. They have a market cap of $24 billion. Price to earnings ratio is 211, which is too high, very overvalued stock. The analysts have given it a buy rating and it has an average price target of $158, which will fall down in the next few days due to the recall news. It has reported positive earnings per share in the last three quarters, but for the first quarter of 2021, it is expected to report a negative EPS which could further bring its price down. The first quarter results are expected on May 6th after the market close, so make sure you follow that if you are thinking of trading this stock. Due to this recall, Peloton will incur all the costs to recall the trade mills, transportation, labor, and also engineering departments, which will have to work to get the issues and design fixed. Now, people tend to forget these incidents after a while, but the sales would suffer in the next few months to year until Peloton is able to gain back the confidence or until people forget about these incidents. Despite of all these problems, the company has been able to increase a lot of subscribers for its media offerings for workouts and has grown a loyal customer base. I think that the role for Peloton is rocky for the next few months until it reports the second quarter results sometime in August, which are expected to be better if there are no further recalls. If you have owned this stock at a higher price, then you may continue to hold it until things get better, which could be anywhere between three to four months from now or up to a year. If you are considering to buy this stock, then watch it for a few more days after the earnings report, which comes out on May 6th, and buy if the price has stabilized and not going down further. So guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope that I help you get some insight into Peloton and why the stock may or may not be a good buy or sell at the moment. Hit like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you.